All right, what's going on everybody? Today we have a historical vlog. We've got something here in Dayton, Ohio, where I'm from that no one else can really claim because it's one of a kind. And it happened 100 years ago today. Today's a very important day because right here was where the first ever NFL game was played 100 years ago on October 3rd of 1920. And you know, I waited to come and do this vlog for a little bit. I wanted to do it over the summer, but it's like, you know, I had the time to do it on the day that it happened, which is today. So I'm like, I'll just wait a little bit. So we're here, out here. I got my boy with me. What's going on, everybody? We got my boy, Jace, we're here. There's not a whole lot here though, because all we've got really is this sign, because this was where the first NFL game was played, right here on this field, which is, pretty no, crazy field. yeah it's baseball field they were gonna put an nfl field here but they decided to just put a baseball field and really the only thing here sadly at least at this location where the game was played is this historical marker you know we're we're both from ohio and i'm from dayton ohio and there really isn't a whole lot to do here but this is where the first ever nfl game was played why would you think this is where it was at but it's true it's 100 percent true and they put a baseball field here and really like i wish there was an nfl field here but the reason they didn't put anything else here is because this is on ancient burial ground supposedly that's what they said in this article but at least there's a field here to commemorate you know at least some historical significance this is triangle park um in dayton ohio and again really there's not a whole lot here what we can say is that for a fact the first ever nfl game was played here 100 years ago exactly today it's crazy so now we're up at the very top chilling up here this is crazy right here legit the first ever nfl game was played here today i can't stop saying it because <laughs> it's honestly the only cool thing that we've got here so <laughs> besides dayton flyers go flyers but here it is boys here it is this is exactly where it was from the top i don't know why they picked this field but they did Again, there just isn't much here, but it is still really historical. It's early in the morning. They've even got people set up over here checking out the signs. Only one first game. Yes, there is. One of a kind. There really is only one first game, and we're here. We're here for we're it. Rocking both our favorite quarterbacks. Mine has six rings. His has zero. I think they're holding a commencement or something. Yeah. Like honor the 100th game. Or 100th yeah, that's year. what they told us. We had to get our masks, but that's what they told us. So we're gonna do a little bit of fun stuff. We were actually just on the news right there. Yeah, we so. just did a news interview. But Cole did all the talking as I, normal. Yeah, I did all the talking, <laughs> but man, I just started rambling at one point. Which, if anybody sees it, I'm I pray sorry. for you. I pray for you. <laughs> the game is underway. 1208. <laughs> on September 17th of 1920, the Professional Football League, that came to be known as the National Football League. Uh, was formed in Canton, Ohio. 16 days later, on October 3rd, 1920, 100 years ago today, the first game between uh, two league members took place on the field right behind us. One of the, one of the fun things about uh, the history of the Dayton Triangles is, of course, uh, uh, the Triangle Park, the place we are right now. And as I mentioned before, we uh, successfully uh, uh, saved and, and adopted and moved to Carillon Park the remaining locker room that was here that served the Dayton Triangles team. Uh, thank you all for being here. Thank you so much, and, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you. All right, guys, we're out of there. That was a lot of fun. The only issue is, is they were gonna have a bigger celebration, but you know, everything that's been going on, they didn't really want to do that. But it was still pretty cool. I mean, again, 100 years ago exactly, I keep saying it. <laughs> like, it's one of a kind. Nobody else it, can, I mean, it, it was, was kind of cool seeing people out there because when we first got there, there wasn't anyone there. But then people started rolling in, like the mayor of Columbus, the mayor of Dayton. And that was really cool. Even NFL legend Keith Byers, college football legend. That was cool seeing him there. College football hall of fame too. Yeah, college football hall of fame this year. So it's pretty exciting and we're going to get some food now. All right, here we are, Skyline, baby. Food vlog, food vlog, <laughs> food vlog. First time trying Skyline, right, Jis? Yes, sir. All right, <laughs> let's do it. All right, so now we're at Caroline Park, which has a pretty cool setup for the Dayton Triangles. We're gonna show you guys around, and it's gonna be cool. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So we're in the gift shop, and they've got a bunch of Triangle stuff. Super cool. Commemorating the historic NFL team that won the first game in the NFL's history. Pretty cool. Might have to get me something. There's the team though. The historic team. And there's the locker room. They moved the locker room over to this park that we're at now. So we're gonna go check out the locker room and 
Also check out the setup they've got for the triangles, but pretty cool logo. Honestly, I'm gonna have to get me some stuff here. This is awesome. So I'm gonna have to switch teams. I, yeah. I, I, we're big triangle fans I'm, now. I'm done with the Browns. Yeah, I'm, I'm, done, I'm done with the Patriots, man. I'm done, <laughs> I'm done. They've even gotten some more triangle stuff here in the uh, gift shop, but pretty cool. And then here's one of their former players. Yeah, like that's a sweet uniform they used to wear, especially how it's like the triangle there. It's super crazy how like jerseys have changed so much and uniforms. And then here's some more stuff they've got, but, and there's the shirt. See, it commemorates the date exactly today. Pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, so now here's the uh, Dayton Triangles locker room sign. And again, they moved the locker room over here, which here it is. We can't go in, but at least you can see the sign. But again, like I said, on October 3rd of 1920, the Triangles played the first game of the National Football League's history, defeating the Columbus Panhandles 14-0 at Triangle Park, which is where we just were, and yeah. But this is the locker room. This is exactly where the team changed at. It's pretty crazy. Like, they moved this over to a different park in Dayton at the, uh, Caroline Park, which you have to get in and pay to get in, but it's pretty cool here. And here's a flower pot, especially like seeing this locker room. It's pretty good. It's in pretty good shape. It's just kind of crazy, you know? I've been saying that throughout the entire vlog. Everything's just pretty crazy. But here it is. I, I don't know if we can see through here, but maybe you can at least see in. They're trying to remodel the place. Here's what the inside looks like, but it's sadly not open for anyone to go in there, but they're going to try to restore it and make it available for people to go into, but... I think they said that there's a full shower set up and everything for the team. Yeah, full shower set up, and you guys can even see me. What up, everybody? But, yeah, this is it. Him and his Mayfield jersey. So sad. Never taking it off. Dude, get out of here with that trash. <laughs> All right, so here we are right in front of the historical bell at Caroline Park, and also right across the street is UD Arena. Pretty cool. All right, so here we are, UD Arena, baby. There it Go is. Go Flyers. Go Flyers. I had to stop by for the quick little vlog. Get it in the shots. Here it is. Great place. They've re newly renovated also, so too bad the season got canceled. All right, so that will do it for today's vlog. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Again, a pretty historical day. It was a lot of fun. Didn't film an outro, but we did when we got back to the apartment. But got myself a Dayton Triangles magnet, obviously. Also got myself a Dayton Triangles hoodie, which is pretty cool. It's got the score on the back and the date, so I'm going to have to wear this for some uh, live streams coming up, everybody. But hope you enjoyed watching, everybody. Make sure you like and subscribe. Hit that red subscribe button for me if you haven't already. Notification bell. Click the bell. We'll see you in the next one.